The eyedropper tool is the most straightforward way to sample color for use with Photoshop's color related features. You can use it to select color from anywhere on your screen, from inside a document that's open in Photoshop, or even from outside of Photoshop. And that means that you can borrow some colors from any document that's open in any program on your computer. To see how the eyedropper tool works, I've opened this image in Photoshop and I'm going to go over to the toolbox and I'm going to click on the eyedropper tool to select it. I'd like to capture a couple of the colors in this image so that I can use them in another design. So all I have to do is come in with the eyedropper and click on one of the colors. I'll click on this orange right here. When I do that, you can see that color appear down here in the foreground color box in the toolbox, all ready to be used. If there's another color in this image that I want to keep, I can switch the background and foreground color boxes here by pressing this double pointed arrow or clicking X on my keyboard. And that puts the gold in the background color box and makes the foreground color box available to me so that I can come in and click on another color. I'll click on this petal of the flower to capture that subtle blue. So that's how you can sample color from an image that's open in Photoshop using the eyedropper tool, but that's not all this tool will do. It will also sample colors from anywhere on your screen. So I'm going to move Photoshop over a little bit so that I can see my desktop. To do that, I'll go to the right hand side of the application frame and I'm just going to drag to the left. If you're on a Mac and you don't have your application frame enabled, then you can skip that step. I just want you to be able to have access to your desktop. So you can see that I have this gray desktop color and I have a light blue folder on my desktop. If I want to sample that light blue for use in Photoshop, I have to have some kind of an image open in Photoshop to start with. It could even be a blank white file, but I need something here because this is where I start this technique. And what I do is I click and hold with my mouse inside of the open image in Photoshop and I don't release the mouse. I move outside of Photoshop and here I'm over the gray desktop and if you look at the foreground color box in the toolbox in Photoshop you'll see the same gray reflected there. And if what I really am after is this light blue right here, I can move my cursor over that folder. I haven't released it yet and you'll see that the foreground color box is now light blue. So now I'll release my mouse and that light blue from outside of Photoshop is the color that I've captured. In another movie in this chapter, I'll show you how you can use this technique to borrow colors from a website that you like in an open web browser on your screen, and even how to save the borrowed colors as a palette inside the swatches panel. But before that, I want to show you one more thing about the eyedropper tool, and that is that there is a new feature up here in the options bar for the eyedropper tool. The ability to sample color from the currently selected layer in the layers panel. I'm going to keep that at the default, which is all layers, for just a moment. And I'm going to go to the Layers panel to show you that right now I have the background layer selected. And if you don't have that, you can just click on that layer in the Layers panel to select the background layer. Let me show you what's on the background layer. To do that, I'm going to hold down the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key on a PC and click on this eye icon to the left of the background layer and that temporarily makes the content of all the layers above that invisible so that you can see what's on this layer. It's filled completely with this brick red color. If I make the next layer in the layer stack visible by clicking in its eye icon spot, you can see what's on that layer, which is this yellow mat, and then some transparent pixels around the mat through which I can see down to the background on the layer below. I'll turn on the tree and you can see what's there just the orange tree and then transparent pixels through which I can see the content of the layers below. And I'll turn on these other layers the same way. As you saw before, when sample is set to all layers, if I click, say, on this light blue petal, the foreground color box changes to light blue. But if I change the sample field to current layer, that means that the eyedropper tool will select the color on the currently selected layer that's beneath my cursor. So let's see how that works. Now if I come back to this blue petal and I click, Photoshop sampled not the blue that's on the topmost layer under my cursor, but rather the eyedropper burrowed down to the currently selected layer, which is that brick red background layer, and that's the color that it sampled. You can see that brick red here in the foreground color box. 
I think that can be a useful feature, but it also can be one of those features that surprises you when it happens. So to avoid being surprised in the future, I'm going to go back up to the sample menu here, and I'm going to change it back to its default all layers. As you can see, the eyedropper tool is a useful tool for sampling colors from a Photoshop document like this one or from any place on your screen. You can use it to borrow colors from a brochure that you have open in Adobe InDesign or as I mentioned from a website that's open as a web browser or for any document that has a color scheme that you like.